Welcome back to Overland Florida, everybody. And today I'm actually gonna start installing the rear storage system that I have for my FJ Cruiser. For those of you that have watched some of my other videos, the Silver 4Runner is actually my fiance's and uh, she designed and built the drawers interior of that 4Runner by herself. So uh, she's actually gonna redesign it. She's gonna move some stuff around, relocate some stuff. So she has her old stuff sitting in the garage. So I'm actually gonna reuse that, repurpose it for the FJ Cruiser. Um, luckily, the distance between the wheel wells and the 4Runner and the FJ are both the same. So it should be a pretty easy install. So here are the two drawers right here. This one is actually um, has a table. So if you pull this drawer out, you can set some stuff on it. If you're cooking, you just lift up, you can remove them. So those are the two drawers. This is the actual um, drawer box right here. That is a fridge slide. It actually slides forward and tilts down so you can reach into the refrigerator. And um, I lucked out, I didn't have to build this myself. But for those of you that are thinking about building a vehicle, um, this is roughly three sheets of plywood. You have drawer slides, which you can get at Home Depot. And you have a little bit of hardware right here for the, uh, the fridge slide. But I mean, they're all squares and rectangles. Um, I wouldn't hesitate for uh, people I've never done it before. Go ahead, give it a try, save yourself a lot of money, learn something in the process. And over here I have an old, this refrigerator is the very first refrigerator I ever bought. It's roughly 12 years old. ARB still works flawlessly. And I have a cooler on top. And that's because that cooler will also fit right there in that tray. So if you don't have money for a refrigerator or you don't want to buy a refrigerator because then you got to have power. You got to have either dual batteries, a solar panel, um, a power station. You know, that just adds up. That's easily another thousand dollars right there. So there's nothing wrong with just putting a cooler where the fridge slide is and just buying a bag of ice. There's nothing wrong with that. And this right here is actually a sleeping platform. So that actually um, screws onto the front of that. So you have a sleeping platform right here. So one person can sleep if you're solo camping and then you can have your refrigerator right there. So let's go ahead and get this FJ Cruiser opened up and uh, start installing this stuff. First things first, I'm probably gonna remove this rubber floor mat just so it's not sliding around. And then I have to tumble these seats forward. In order to flip the seats forward, you just pull this little tab right here. Then you push this button. But the problem is this headrest hits and doesn't allow this to lay flat. So I'm actually gonna remove this portion of the seat. That way this can lay flat and then I'll have my bed drawers nice and even. So I just slid the drawers in the back and just look at the tolerance. Look how close it is. I got to square it up just a little bit. I won't have access to this little jack, but I think with the lift kit and bigger tires, that little bottle jack probably wouldn't work anyway. And depending on how far back this has to be, I won't have access to my plug either. So I might just have to stop it just short, like right there. That way I still have access to this plug. Uh, but then again, I really don't know how often I'd actually use it because uh, the refrigerator and stuff like that is actually going to be plugged off of a 12 volt socket. So I might get away with just covering that up if I have to. But uh, now I need to uh, lift this end up and add some little shims at the bottom to get it level. So I have the drawers pretty level right now. I have it sitting on uh, two two by fours and a little piece of plywood. Um, if I raise it up just a little bit more, I can probably use that plug. If I remove this little door, I can probably use the plug right now. The only problem is uh, I have to measure the distance between the uh, tray right here for the fridge and the headliner to make sure that refrigerator is actually going to fit in there. I think the refrigerator is, uh, let's see, about 19 and a half inches tall, I believe. So I have the drawers situated pretty much where I want them. I have one really tight strap going across the back over there. It's really strong. It's not really going anywhere. I would like to get another strap probably underneath, um, flip this up, probably going underneath here, but I really don't have any tow hooks or tie downs that are gonna be outside. I think if I put it underneath here, it's just gonna lift up on the bottom if I tighten it down. So probably just leave it like this for now and see if it's gonna move around uh, while I drive. I'm really happy with how well these drawers fit from the 4Runner into the FJ. They fit perfectly between the wheel wells. The only thing I'm really not uh, excited about is I have this awkward gap underneath. Um, I can store st stuff under there, which is nice, but since I had to jack this up to make it level, I lost a lot of my headroom between my fridge slide and the headliner right here. So the ultimate test is going to be installing the refrigerator and seeing if I'm going to be able to slide it in and out past this headliner right here. I have not tried it yet. I simply just set it in the tray. So let's go ahead and lift it up and we're going to see how close to uh, the headliner this refrigerator is going to be. The 
drawers are now pushed all the way against the driver's side fender right here. I left a little bit of room, that way I can slide the drawer in and out, it's not gonna scratch the interior. I pushed it back far enough so I have access to this plug. And now I gained almost an inch and a half at this uh, lowest point right here um, from the headliner. But I have a new problem. As I was pushing it back, it fell off my little uh, spacers right there. So uh, now I'm gonna have to uh, lift this up and try to get it leveled back out. I might leave it at a slight little angle only because the refrigerator needs that just so it can slide out and not touch the headliner. This is how it's gonna sit for now. Um, it's still a little tilted. When I get a second person over here, it's gonna be easier for me to lift up while the other person moves around that spacer or adds to it. Um, I do have just enough room to slide this all the way out and open up the fridge, so that works great. Um, I do have a sleeping platform for the front, but that's a little too long for the FJ. It works in the 4Runner, and I really don't wanna cut Jillian's board right now, um, just in case she does wanna swap and put this back in the 4Runner. Um, she can still have that sleeping platform. So what I'm probably going to do is I'll probably just make my own sleeping platform, paint it black. That way I have a lot more storage over there. And I can actually probably put Goose's crate sideways behind the seats. Um, that way he's safe and secure in here. So um, I do want to try to get a second strap going across just in case I do get in an accident or um, start doing some off-roading where it's going to be sliding back and forth. Um, this thing's not just bouncing back and forth. So um, it is really secure with that one strap. I have it strapped really tight and it's really not going to go anywhere. Um, the next concern is I'm probably going to put some magnets or a latch on this, uh, these doors, only because uh, with that gap right here now, um, these are probably going to slide open and closed as I accelerate. Now that I have the drawers and the refrigerator situated how I want them, I can actually start putting stuff in them. So I have two drawers. I'm thinking one side's going to be like a solo camping setup. I'm going to put my hammock in there, uh, my rain fly, all that gear, um, a small stove, uh, maybe just one fork, one spoon, one knife, uh, a plate, a bowl, stuff like that. Just stuff that'll get me through the night for uh, solo camping. And on this side over here, I'm actually going to put uh, reco recovery equipment and then in a little bit of tools. Just to give you guys an idea, I'm not finished putting all my stuff in here, but I just want to show you guys kind of what I'm talking about. So this is going to slide out. This is going to double as a table. So I have access to my refrigerator. I can have plates. I can have a little jet boil right here cooking some, some meals or whatnot. Um, so I'm going to have probably a small set of silverware, a pot, a pan. Um, I already got a little bag of rice right there, but this is my hammock sleep system. This is my Eno sleep system, actually. So I'm going to have... A, there's a hammock in here, a rain fly, a bug net, all the straps and everything. This is going to be one of my uh, down-filled blankets from Get Out Gear. And right here, um, I have my underquilt from East Hills Outdoors. That's available on uh, Amazon, really good buy. Um, it's not very expensive, but it's going to keep you really well insulated while you're in your hammock. Um, this is a really good buy. I have a couple of these. I keep like one in every vehicle now. And... Uh, Really comfortable, compactually small, but it's a down-filled blanket, and I sleep with it all the time. And of course, my original Eno <laughs> sleep system, and that's like, man, that's got to be like almost 10 years old now, at least. But, uh, so, that comes down. I gotta pack it a little bit better, but that makes the table, and that slides back in. On this side right here, I don't have any of my tools in yet, but I do have a um, strap and soft shackles from uh, Adventure X Outdoors. They're a Florida-based company, so support local. Really nice, really responsive on Instagram and through emails and stuff like that. So adventurexoutdoors.com. And then I have a strap right here. Let's look at the rating on this. This is gonna be plenty for uh, what we do. Um, one inch kinetic rope, working load is 15 and a half thousand pounds. Max brake strength is about 31,000. So. We're going to be using that in some of our videos coming up, so stay tuned for that. Although I don't know uh, if I'm going to keep the strap there because obviously right now it's wound up really tight and once I start using it, it's going to be really dirty and I'm probably not going to be able to get it that small. They did come uh, in a little bag, so I'll probably just start using the bag and just use this for tools and then overflow camping stuff. This is probably where I'm going to end this video. I don't really have a whole lot more for the rear of the storage area. Um, I got my refrigerator in, but of course, guys, you can always use a cooler. You don't have to use a refrigerator. The only reason this re this refrigerator is in here is because I bought this almost 12 years ago, and it's just been sitting in my shed, uh, keeping the waters cold. So um, it has been running. I left it plugged in just because it's probably going to 
lasts a lot longer if it's continuously running or if it's just sitting in the heat in the shed. So um, I'm gonna get this thing plugged in so I can get it cooled down again. And I got my drawers in, um, camping stuff. And this is gonna be like half tools and half recovery gear slash camping stuff. Um, I am still interested in having a Molly panel that goes where that window is. I wanna make this build as interactive as possible. So if you guys spend a lot of time on Facebook Marketplace, if you come across any deals online for FJ Cruiser parts, feel free to reach out to me on Instagram, uh, Facebook Messenger, or email them to me. Um, if they're used parts, I don't mind. I actually prefer used parts. I built my previous Tacoma with almost all used parts. Even the front suspension <laughs> from Eric was used. But uh, yeah, send me the links. If it's a good deal, I'll drive across the state. I'll pick them up and then I'll install them on a future video. And I appreciate everyone that's already sent me links in Messenger. Um, I really appreciate it. There are good deals to be had out there, but since they discontinued making the FJ Cruiser, uh, a few years ago, um, people are kind of holding on to their parts, not really selling any accessories. But um, if you do happen to come across any good deals online or um, used on Craigslist or Marketplace, feel free to send them to me. And uh, thank you guys. It's going to be a pretty fun build. Um, I'm really excited to go out and go camping again and start trail riding.